Hey everybody, welcome back. It's not too early to tar start talking about the winter time. I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited. I need to pass, I need to sharpen my edges, and I'm ready to go already, even though we've barely made August. About to have a conversation right now with a fellow who is nothing if not invested in the industry mm -hmm. of snow and recreation. And of course, it's a perfect place to be if you are a part of the Snow Sports Industries America group of retailers and companies that serve our wonderful recreational industry that we enjoy here. He is the president of SIA. Please welcome Mr. Nick Sargent. How are you, man? Great. Good to see you. Me. You bet, you yeah. bet. Nice great, to see you. Great to be in Park City. Congratulations Thank on you. many levels. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We you, have a lot going on right now. You do. Yeah. You're moving. Let's start yeah. with you're moving to Park City. Mm -hmm. Your headquarters have been on the East Coast, and, and you're about to join us here in, Absolutely. in the coolest little town yeah. in the whole USA. It's one of the coolest towns, and uh, I've been here many times before. I've lived here a few times before as well, and uh, it's just a great cultural fit for our, our company and, uh, and what we do for the winter sport business. And uh, we looked at a lot of different towns around the country, and uh, Park City was an obvious fit in the state of Utah, obviously for the uh, champagne powder and, uh, and, and the blue sky. So. Indeed, indeed. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit about SIA, because as we discussed before we came on air, it's a, an organization mm -hmm. that I think a lot of people here in Park City are mm -hmm. familiar with, but um, as a lot of folks in Park City know, a lot of what comprises mm -hmm. the industry, to use a, a broad umbrella That's term, right. Is, is really invisible to a lot of the people who are consuming the industry. That's right. Talk a little bit about this very long tenured organization, one of the oldest trade organizations anywhere in sport, certainly in the United States. Talk mm -hmm. a little bit about the background and, yeah. and uh, how this wonderful group sure. has grown so strong. So the company is over 65 years old, so That's it's crazy. been embedded in the ski business for as, as long. And as the ski business has evolved to include snowboarding, Nordic, snowshoeing, and consumer interaction, the, the business has evolved to include that, but also represent those categories in our overall business. So we're an industry-owned, manufacturer-run organization, meaning all of the brands that you love to purchase at your favorite store, whether you're at Jan's here or at Kohl's, sure. or where, where, where have you um, shop, you can go there and any brand that is you're gonna find in that store, we've touched that brand one way or another. So we help those brand brands make good business decisions on what they're not only selling to the retailer, but how that retailer interacts with the, uh, with the, re, uh, the manufacturer. We also assist in the, in the buy-sell cycle, so we can help a retailer and the manufacturer along with that buy-sell cycle, so they know what to buy, when to buy, and where to buy. Most people notably know SIA as the, the enormous winter sport trade show, right. which is in Denver, Colorado, and that's where it'll stay. And uh, uh, that's where a lot of the commerce happens, and we produce that show. Moreover, we also produce all of the research and data which supports the winter sport business. We also do the government affairs work. That's why we've been on the East Coast. That's why we've been in Washington. We're on the right. Hill. We're talking with senators about um, trade, uh, tariff, import, export, and most notably climate change. We're working with the EPA. We've been working with Obama's team as well on uh, our position with climate change and what we can do to get everyone in this industry to raise, a, raise an eye and start to think about what their contribution is going to be to save the snow. And in 2016, we've had kind of the, the burn-in period of folks realizing no matter what rhetoric may be happening in Washington mm -hmm. that we can all look around and see changes in our environment in, in our local area. Mm -hmm. Talk about the longer term thoughts that, that mm -hmm. SIA has and, and the ways in which you speak for your member companies. That's right. So we are, I mean, there was no, it was no, uh, no joke this winter 
Um, I know you all uh, were, were suffering with snow. Um, I was coming from the East Coast where we didn't get much snow, hardly any at all. Uh, fortunately, I had a chance to get out to the far west and, uh, and get deep into it, but uh, that's not enough. Sure. And uh, we need to ensure that you know, we don't control the snow, but we can do everything we can to help everyone make good decisions, whether you're doing your part at your home or you're doing your part with your business or you are actively out there working to get senators to do their job and get involved. So we're, we're taking a big position there. Beyond that, being here in the state of Utah, it puts us right in the center of the winter sport business. And with our relationship with Park City, our relationship with the state um, and the GoEd department, we'll be able to create more educational programs which will help retailers make good decisions, consumers make good decisions, and also make a good platform which then we can share in other opposing states, whether it be Colorado or Washington, Oregon, California, or my, my home state in Vermont. And so we're going to be working with, uh, with the government here. We'll be working with the, uh, with the U as well to come up with these programs and platforms. Also bring business into the state and create forums Fantastic. where we can discuss um, key topics around um, retailing, um, uh, manufacturing, um, import-export, and obviously, you know, what this state has to offer to the rest of the country, but then also here within the state. It, it sounds very strongly to me like, and I've, I've had some uh, uh, associations with other mm -hmm. uh, trade groups in different industries right. where there isn't this same kind of really interwoven relationship. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the things that you're talking about in terms of, of the ways in which you advocate for all of the companies in the industry is a lot more nuts and bolts than what a lot of, of industry groups do. Sure. I mean, you're, you're, you're almost talking to me like a CEO mm -hmm. of, of a company in the industry right. more so. It's almost like, and, and I think you alluded to it, mm -hmm. you're running a business in the same way that your constituents are sure. and, and have, a, it seems, a similar level of intimacy with, with what makes success. Talk a little bit about that from your perspective. I'm running the business that ensures there is a winter sport business. I'm running a business that is managed and run and monitored by the supplier. So I answer to a board, I answer to a chairman, and, uh, and I present initiatives to them and uh, I get initiatives back which are going to further enhance the winter sport business. So I'm in the business of snow, I'm in the business of winter, I'm in the business of creating a future for not only you and myself, but the next generation. Absolutely. We're about to embark on a generational shift where you're going to see a lot of older CEOs um, and leaders in our organization moving away from the sport and retiring. Sure. Uh, they've earned that and uh, I'm sure they'll enjoy their, their future, but it's our time now and it's, it's, it's our generation and it's our time to contribute. And so I'm here to do my part and, uh, and run this organization the best I can and ensure that we can get out there and rip turns on, uh, in Park City or Deer Valley or head down to the canyons. Sure. And whether you're on a snowboard or skis or you're uh, 18 or you're on the, on, on the golf course on snowshoes. You know, it's all about enjoying winter and enjoying being outside. Indeed. Let's do this. Let's take a quick break, mm -hmm. and I want to focus on the future. The, the changes that you're speaking of sure. are, are always a, a fascinating analysis, mm -hmm. so let's talk more about that. Great. We'll be right back. More with Nick Sargent. He's the president of SIA. We're going to continue to talk about that blessed moment when the snow flies very soon. We'll be right back. Welcome back. We are talking Snow Sports Industries America with its president, Mr. Nick Sargent. Welcome back. Thank you very much. So let's let's get all up in the future. Yeah. Here you are. You mentioned that, that you're almost one year on the job, but basically with this move to Park City, kind of feels like you're in the starting blocks, ready to blast out. Talk about what your plan is, mm -hmm. both for the association and talk about the long-term trends in sure. addition to yeah. climate change oh, yeah. that you see and how that will affect your job and, and, and the industry itself. Sure. So the, uh, the organization has been around for a long time, as I mentioned early, earlier. And with this move here to Park City, that gives us the ability to create a new platform. And most people, as I said earlier uh, before, know us for our trade show. And we need to take a stronger position and, and kind of pound our chest a little bit more about the other gotcha, work sure. we do. Sure. And so we're going to be working hard to address the educational needs that our industry needs. Um, 
through retail and through manufacturing and then through through research and data as well and so we're going to take a new stab at that uh, we're going to up the ante on the trade show there's a lot of competitors out there there's one happening down in uh, down 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 the road in Salt Lake right now hope they're having a good show but uh, um, you know we need to be doing a better job and we need to be more engaged with the industry more relevant and delivering a better proposition so at the show in uh, in Denver, you'll see a new look and a new feel, okay. and it's going to help people uh, really see and smell and hear the change that, that that we're doing by moving the office here to Park City and putting that uh, uh, our business right in the heart of, of the winter sport uh, environment. That gives us the, the ability to be closer to our members, where we can do more roundtable conversations. We can engage with them in a daily or weekly or even monthly level, where we don't have we didn't have that ability uh, at our office in the D.C. area. That being said, we'll be able to tackle tougher issues more frequently and get more people at the table, whether it be government, whether it be state, local, um, uh, also at the table with our industry and our members. And that's really going to help uh, enlighten the people that uh, take what this we have here right. uh, for granted, right. but also uh, raise the conversation up to a level that you, know, you can no longer look the other way. It's, it's our sport. It's our industry. It's our commitment. I can't do it all together. I need the community's help, and uh, and so that's what we're here to engage with. And so we're really looking forward to uh, those conversations and addressing the tough tough conversation and uh, coming up with solutions. And no question, it, when you look at any recreational industry mm -hmm. or recreational sports industry, I always kind of refer back to the the Panopticon mm -hmm. concept of looking in every direction at all of this competition because mm -hmm. you're you're competing against Miami and you're competing mm -hmm. against San Diego and outside of just what folks might be doing mm -hmm. staying home and skiing on the East Coast versus coming to Park City or or going somewhere else talk a little bit about about your thoughts as far as change goes mm -hmm. with all of these different conversations because to use the word constituencies right. it seems like you you have a very full plate with respect to the messaging, not only to your constituents mm -hmm. but to the outside world as well. We do. We have we have a lot on our plate, and we're tackling a lot of key issues right now. And and uh, one of the biggest issues that we're tackling is participation. And when you look at the studies and you look at the data and the research, you'll see a lot of baby boomers are retiring from the mountain community and they're moving to the warmer states. You know, they're going to go from powder in their face to sand between their toes. Right. And right. cold feet or sunburn. I mean, you, sure. you choose your weapon. But, uh, you know, we need to fill the funnel. We need to fill the funnel with growth. We need to create programs to get kids on the slopes. We need to be working with the resorts to make affordable uh, opportunities for, for uh, kids to learn the sport, whether it's skiing or snowboarding. We need to be working with our current base of, of winter sport enthusiasts to get them to get their children come back not once, twice, three times, but maybe four times, maybe six times, maybe ten times. Sure. That family of four, instead of making a decision of going to, to a warmer climate, come to a resort, try it out, right. get on the hill, breathe some fresh air, spend some time with your family away from a, uh, a screen device. You know, enjoy nature. We get one turn on this uh, on this wheel. That's right. And you know, this environment here in Park City is so beautiful. You know, every morning I got up early this morning and was watching the sunrise. I was on East Coast time, and uh, and uh, you know, it was so gorgeous. And you don't see that every day. And the things that you take for granted, you need to take a step back, take a breath, and remember why you're doing this. And remember why you like to go out and get cold. Remember why you like to get your feet, you know, nearly frostbite. Sure. It's the it's the fun, it's the joy, it's the exhilaration, but more importantly, it's the family time. You know, I've got, I, I have a family as well, and we all we all ski and ride, and that time on the hill is precious, Absolutely. and it goes quickly. So enjoy it. I'm stoked, man. I'm all ready. I'm ready, ready for, for opening. I'm ready for opening day right now. <laughs> Tell folks snow. where they can find out more about. 
SIA, mm -hmm. America's yep. Online, and uh, maybe a, a call to action for sure. folks out there who just maybe, right, like me, just a skier snowboarder, how can they get involved? Mm -hmm. In what ways can they help benefit the industry for their sure. own good? Sure. So you can go to SIA.org, okay. and you, uh, you can get all the information you, you need there. Um, we also have a lot of uh, video content and, uh, and blogs that we'll be sending out. So if you register, you'll be on our, on our mailer, uh, and you'll get an update once a month personally from me, but also you'll get weekly blogs from our industry. Um, and that's very informative. We're covering a lot of topics and things you might not know about, so pay attention and, uh, and sign up. Um, but again, for the, you know, for the personal challenge, get out there, try the sport, get out there, go visit a retailer, get the right equipment, get the right ski or board, get the right gear, you know, work with your retailer, uh, you know, get the right product that's good for you and go out and use it. Don't put it in a closet. Right. Don't wear it to the grocery store looking for people to turn their head. That's Get right. outside. <laughs> make a turn. And you'll guarantee you, you're going to have a great time and a huge smile. Well said, my friend. Mm -hmm. I have to say that I'm greatly heartened after this <laughs> conversation that the entire industry has a, a, a group, an organization, and a mind of a CEO mm -hmm. that has the best interests of all of us in mind. And I greatly appreciate you being here. Best yeah. wishes, welcome to Park mm -hmm. City. And uh, don't be a stranger, come back and see us. Will do, thank all you right. very much, all appreciate right. it. Nick Sargent, he is the president of SIA Snow Sports Industries America. Check them out at SIA.org. There's a lot of content for you to learn more about the industry and support the industry that we all love so very much. We're gonna take a break. We'll be back with much more show right after this because I love you.